Galarthi Fairies, it's Snowflake, and in this video, I am going to be telling you about how I got into Pixie Hollow and YouTube. I made a similar video back in 2016, but I'm trying to make this video better, and this one tells me my YouTube story, which the old one didn't. So, let's get started. As a young child, I absolutely loved computer games. On the internet, I enjoyed playing children's flash games from Sesame Street and the Nick Jr. websites. I also got really into Disney in 2007. I enjoyed watching Beauty and the Beast, The Little Mermaid, Cinderella, Toy Story, Finding Nemo, and more. I also enjoyed acting out some of those films. I even cleaned the house wearing my Cinderella dress. Another movie I enjoyed was Peter Pan which my parents got when I was born, but we never watched it until that point. What I loved best about that movie was this one scene where the darling children learned to fly for the first time. I really wanted to fly and go to Neverland too. I also got into fairies during that time because they knew how to fly. One day, I stumbled upon the Disney Fairies website where I got to learn all about Tinkerbell her friends, and the world they lived in. I absolutely loved the fairies and wanted to go to Neverland to meet them. However, I didn't create my first fairy for a while because the create a fairy button led to a login street screen that felt distant from the rest of the site. My mom eventually set up a Disney account for me and I created my first ever fairy. My impressions of the fairy creation immediately changed as soon as I saw the talent selection. The first fairy I created was a water fairy, with mostly the default options, I think. That same day, I created an animal fairy with braids named Amber, and a garden fairy. I can't recall how many fairies I created and deleted before the actual game even opened. I printed out pretty much all my fairies, but it took me a while to be flexible enough to start decorating fairy homes. Before Pixie Hollow opened, I saw a trailer for the game. It showed the fairy creation process and ended with a bunch of fairies flying around Pixie Hollow, sort of like this image I'm showing you right now. I felt a bit embarrassed for not knowing about it, even though it wasn't out yet, and I kept looking all over the Pixie page for that feature, but I failed to find it. One day in the fall of 2008, I was shocked to notice that the old fairy creation login screen was gone. I think it was after a short break. Unfortunately, my old account was deleted so I had to create a new one. My username for that one was FoofyDoo1. The reason why that was my username was because my webkin's username was FoofyDoo. I came up with that username because I, the reason why I got into webkin's in the first place was because Anyway, my guess as to the reason why my account was deleted was because I didn't fly in during the beta or something, but that was just my guess, it could be wrong. Anyway, I created my fairy like always, and expected to go to my pixie page to decorate my home, but there was this server selection screen that was a bit unsettling at first, but I was finally allowed to fly around pixie hollow which was what I wanted. I don't really remember what I did back in the fall of 2008, I guess I just flew around, but it was so magical, likely because I was so little. I was exploring all these new places not knowing where I was. I honestly miss that feeling. I remember picking up the silly glasses for Silly Days 2009 and not knowing where I was. The first mini game I came across was Bubble Bounce, but it didn't load. Next was Water Web, followed by Pedal Pickup, but I didn't understand these games at all. I played Bobo Bounce again, and that was the first mini game I understood, which is why I played it a lot back in the day. I really started to understand this game in the spring of 2009 after the Summer Meadows came out. I still kept creating and deleting fairies because I like starting over in games, but I really enjoyed visiting all the famous fairies. Even though they all told me to do Tinkerbell's welcome quest, which I did several times, I eventually knew what and where all the meadows were and what was in each one, but it took me a while to find the pedal pickup sign again. I also needed my mom's help to understand how to play this game, because I needed to play it for a quest. 
but I did learn to play the other games before that. Harvest Hustle became my favorite. I talked about Pixie Hollow so much at school during this time that mom even considered keeping me away from it. In July 2009, I finally got a membership. I could still do some stuff without it back then, but I felt so free with it, I could finally shop and host parties which I wasn't able to do. I also got more involved in Pixie Hollow's events that year. For most events, like the Great Games and Garnet Tea Party, I mostly just enjoyed the decorations, but I actually participated in the Blue Pixie Dust Hunt during the Autumn Revelry and collected the free gift. I think during this event I was on an animal fairy named Mud Pie Tulip Dance that I earned a lot of badges with and somehow deleted, but I'm not sure when I had her. But I did create a bunch of fairies with the last name Tulip Dance. The revelry was also the first time I saw a famous fairy. I just saw Tink and Con Puffield while doing a quest, and back then I didn't know famous fairies could actually visit. For Christmas that year, I got the book In the Realm of the Never Fairies, which got me more into fairies than I already was, and therefore got me more into Pixie Hollow. I created a water fairy named Silver Ice River on May 9th, 2010. Back then, she seemed like another fairy I'll just delete, but she'll be important later. I created a light fairy named Snowflake Never Lily on May 24th, 2010, so over 10 years ago, that's crazy. I didn't really consider her to be a permanent fairy at first, but I really enjoyed playing with her. I did the guarantee party quest in June, then came Camp Pixie Dust. I was really intrigued by this event. I even looked all over the Disney Fairy site for information on it. This led me to this Never News article and the event calendar which told me how I can see the famous fairies if I wanted to. I decided to go to a camp counselor visit in the tea room one day, but I didn't know what the time zones were back then so I showed up at the wrong time and I didn't care. But that was when I met a fairy with the yearling badge. And that was also when I decided I should keep Snowflake for at least a year, which I've never done before. I respected fairies that have been in the hollow for a year or longer. I even learned that there were some fairies from 2007 and I respected them greatly. Luckily, I learned about time zones that same summer and attended a few famous fairy visits. Also during the summer of 2010, I discovered YouTube. My brother discovered it first as he liked to watch Mario videos. One day I searched Pixie Hollow. My brother didn't think there were any fairy videos on YouTube, which is funny looking back, but there were a lot, including the amazing Pixie Hollow Pals channel. My family got a flip camera that summer, which we used to film family videos. I recorded several videos of me playing Pixie Hollow, but they were terrible quality because I was just recording the computer screen with the flip camera, but I really wanted a YouTube account so I could post fairy videos and comment on others, but mom won't let me at first. I still created a bunch of videos that fall that I prepared to upload, but I never did. At the end of 2010, I finally got a YouTube channel, but it's not the same one you're watching right now. 2011 was a great Pixie Hollow year for me. I always look forward to Pixie Hollow's events. And that was the year many of the events received interactive upgrades. I never missed any famous fairy visit. I also continued to post bad quality YouTube videos. My first subscriber was this fairy named Bellflower, who would eventually become part of the Pixie po Hollow Pals. I befriended the Pixie Hollow Pals that year too. During the fall of 2010, I kept creating and deleting the fairy in the third slot. Though I still kept Silver and Snowflake, I thought my permanent fa third permanent fairy was this light sparrow man named Lyric Rain Breeze, who I created in the winter, I think. But I deleted him and created an animal fairy named Marigold Prey Blossom in April 2011. I eventually logged onto Silver again after I considered deleting her because I never played on that fairy. I then played on all three of my fairies, but I played on Snowflake the most. 
In 2012, I finally got a screen recorder, but that was when many more people started joining the Pixie Hollow YouTube community. I didn't feel like I was getting as much subscribers and appearing at, in as many videos as the other fairies. Things honestly felt competitive that year. In August, I decided to create a Pixie Hollow UK account because other fairies were doing it and I thought it would be fun to experience 2008 again. On that account, I created a water fairy named Dewdrop, an animal fairy named a Amber Daisy Willow, and a garden fairy named Zephyr Sandy Whisper. And yes, they are loosely based on the first three fairies I ever created. In September that same year, I joined a fan site called Pixie Hollow Forms, which my friend Sarah Stardust was part of. In the fall of 2012 and in 2013, I got back into the Disney Fairies books. This taught me that Pixie Hollow isn't about competition. While I wasn't the most popular YouTuber, and I never won any fashion spotlights, home contests, or got on the leaderboard like some other fairies I know did, that isn't the point of the game. It was about believing in magic. For Christmas in 2012, I finally got my first iPod Touch and downloaded the Fairies Fashion Boutique app. I created a new fairy named Phoebe Diamond Sparkle, and this picture is the version I created of her and Pixie Elf brands. In the app, her hair is a lot fancier. In the beginning of 2013, I created a backup account. It felt kind of nice starting over again. I created a tinker fairy named Copperwind, which I flew on occasionally. My third account was created after the first camp challenge that summer. Garden Talents won the sign up challenge, but none of my fairies got that badge because I didn't have any garden talents. So I created a third account with a garden fairy named Rosa. Copperwind and Rosa weren't members, but I still sent them stuff from the Pixie Post Office from my main account sometimes. Then. In August 20th, 2013, it was announced that Pixie Hollow, my favorite pastime ever for the past five years, would shut down. I was actually one of the first to see that post, and boy, I was angry. During the closure event, I bought all five of my fairies the famous fairy outfits. Like, it was cool that my non-member accounts got free membership. During Pixie Hollow's closure, I was depressed. Not only was the thing I loved gone, I was in middle school at the time and was very lonely. However, I did create Pixie Hollow India and Australia accounts. My India account had a light fairy named Jenny Thunderlake, a garden fairy named Strawberry Pine Swirls, and an animal fairy named Tiger. I actually originally created Tiger for a Pixie Hollow Forums roleplay. On my Australia account, I created a frost fairy named Misty, though I selected water talent because frost talent wasn't an option. I recreated Snowflake and Copperwind, though Copper was an animal fairy because there's no Tinker talent. I was not looking forward to this summer of 2014 as much as I usually do because there's no Camp Pixie to look forward to. So I decided to write stories about my fairies attending Camp Pixie Dust, though I never finished any of them. But I did end up finishing a story about my fairies attending the Animal Masquerade in the fall, and I posted it on Pixie Hollow forums. Back then, I only wrote the first draft of my stories, proofread it for spelling errors, and published it. But people apparently liked my stories. I posted about 8 of them from late 2014 to the end of 2015. I even created another Pixie Hollow India account in the summer of 2015. The, th the first three fairies there were based off my mainland friends, but I deleted some of them and created some more like in the olden days. My life in the mainland improved as well. To be honest, at that point, I didn't care whether or not Pixie Hollow reopened. However, when 2016 came, I just lost my motivation to write. I did slowly gain it back eventually, but this year was very depressing for the most part. I just wanted Pixie Elf to come back. I found out that Pixie Elf France was still online and created a bunch of fairies there, which I'm showing you right now on this little side show. And I deleted them to make more, and, and I recorded their addresses in an address book document. 
but was boring after a while, and people just left Pixie Hollow forums. There was finally a light at the end of the tunnel when the summer came. When creating my first fairy ABC account in June, I think, I wanted a different fairy. She was a water fairy named Sapphire Star Gem. I really enjoyed flying around the meadows again and dressing up Sapphire, but I just wasn't attached to her. I took a break from Fairy ABC because there wasn't anything to do. And when I came back, my account was deleted, all accounts were deleted in this one update. So I created a new account, and this time I recreated Snowflake. I took another break, again because there wasn't that much to do, and I rejoined in September after the forum opened. I even noticed that a few former Pixie Hollow YouTubers I was friends with were actually posting on their channel or commenting. I created this channel, the one you're watching right now. In August 2016, I created the channel, but I was too anxious to post videos because middle school gave me a lot of insecurities. Unfortunately, I had to create a new account due to inactivity on the previous one, but I did recreate Snowflake. I enjoyed the remake and attended the Halloween party, but there still wasn't that much to do. In November, I mustered up the courage to upload my very first video. I was very anxious about uploading it. The video was actually the original video of my Pixie All story. Then I started posting other videos. It got to the point where one of them was in the fairy tale theater for video night. Like, what? I even got the Pixie Video Star badge. This was amazing considering I didn't get any honors badges in the original Pixie Hollow. So that was my Pixie Hollow story. So I just took a long break as you can see. <laughs> but I'm back now. I'm not sure how active I'll be on this channel, but I have a lot of video ideas that I'm really excited to post. So thanks for watching and fly with you later.